Hey guys, welcome back to another segment of Top Half. Zach here and Salama Bapuasa to all the Gadget Nation viewers out there. Last week we met developers from Digital Arc and they're back again. And we checked out Ifta last time and now we got two more apps. We're in Solat and Chura. So, welcome back to the show. So, uh, we're looking at Weird Solat and Chua. Let's start with the first one, Weird Solat. Okay. How would you explain what, what is this app? Okay, Weird Solat. So, I have to start with this story. Um, masa kita kanak-kanak dulu, kita hafal all the weird, the do'as. Once we get to teenagers and then adult life, kita start to tend to forget about this weird. So, um, so, to solve this problem, we came up with this app, uh, Weird After Solat, as a reference tool for people and also a ZK counter. Right, so yes. talking about the user experience, like how would people use this app and in what situations do you think it would be useful? Alright, okay, so immediately after prayers, uh, the first thing you do is that you open the app um, and then it's, it gives you the reference for with it. Uh, there's a ZK counter and you tap three times, it will vibrate so it notifies the user that it's the next uh, ZK. Alright. And then uh, there's uh, more with it and do'as. And then to the final one would be the do'a. Right, okay. Okay. So uh, this is being used immediately after prayers. Right. Uh, including with the do'a. So how long has this app been on the market? December 2013. Since December. Since so December. So what's and the feedback been like? Uh, it's been very good. Uh, up till today, we've got around 12,000 downloads. Uh, 12,000? 12, downloads and ongoing. And we're very happy with the feedback because people are saying this, would, this is my companion throughout my traveling. Oh, and yeah. Been a, a good reference. So we are also very happy to have those kind of feedbacks. Uh, right. From yeah. right. Yeah. So uh, again, for these two apps, you are working with partners on, on the side to make sure things are going right. So yes. who are you working with again? Um, we're working with um, Microsoft uh, mm -hmm. as our they, they've uh, called us as our partner, um, where we will help them develop uh, Muslim apps. Yeah. Right. So this app is available for iOS, Android, and also Windows. Smart, Windows. Right. Okay. Windows platform, yeah. So uh, it's a free app. It's a free app. Okay. There's another version uh, called the Weird After Solat, which is the international version. It has more Weird and Do'as. Uh, it's 99 cents at that store. 99 cents. Yeah. Right, that's not too much. <laughs> <laughs> so in terms of accuracy, it's making making sure all the the weirds and all the doors are correct. Who uh, are you referencing? Someone? Yes, we are referencing someone. Uh, we're referencing uh, the Imam Besar of uh, Masjid Shah Alam, mm -hmm. um, Ustaz Abdul Karim. Uh, he's been uh, he's uh, been our Islamic advisor mm. for apps. Uh, right. <laughs> When you were th designing the interface, were you thinking more about uh, the, the target audience? Were you thinking about the youth or thinking about the, the older generation that's starting to pick up mobile devices? Or is it a mix of both? Yeah, on, at first I tried to uh, mix up all the Islamic... Uh, you went for a traditional... Yeah, kind traditional, of right. all this calligraphy and those floral shapes, right? Hmm. But then I was thinking on the audience of the apps, uh, which is more towards uh, 20s to 30s. So they tend to love to those flats and modern design. So that's why I put that in the design of the apps. Right. Yeah. Well, I have to say it looks fantastic. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Good job there. <laughs> yeah, and we've, we've got um, many feedbacks on the design. People are very happy with our modern approach for Islamic apps because, yeah, you can see that most of the Islamic apps are designed uh, very traditionally, mm. not uh, not being developed for the youth of right. nowadays. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So uh, moving on to the next app we're talking about, it's Chera, that's yeah. right? Chera. So yes. What is Chera? Chera. Chera is an app that we have uh, we've been developing with um, University of Malaysia Pahang by uh, Puan Anita. Um, this app. Uh, they, they believe that when our spiritual is balanced, is good, then our productivity is better. Right. All right. So with this app, it, it shows us, uh, it helps us uh, by giving us guidance on. Uh, there's a checklist uh, before, during, and after working. 
Right. It's all good. It's all for working. So it's for working Muslims uh, as a guide to to ma- to maintain their spiritual level, uh, so they can perform better. Something that uh, Muslim workers would bring into the workplace, into the office, yes. into wherever they're working, yes. and they would use this. Uh, how, how specifically would they use this? Like, wh- what do they do? Um, if you can see here, uh, there's uh, before working niat kerja kerana Allah, and then you can click done. There's a progress list. It's like oh, we, right. we gamify it a little bit by gi- giving them a sense of progress in their daily uh, rituals. Uh, there's doa during working, uh, and then. They also simple simple thing like as smile when you work, um. or not just not just talk about du'as and zikirs, but also the akhlak. Becoming a pleasant person in the workplace. Yes, yes. <laughs> and also there's a zikir counter here, as you can see. So this is uh, being used during work or in between working. Right yeah. to create a more balanced self yes, yes. sort of thing. And uh, alhamdulillah, uh, Puan Anita have brought this uh, app to a few competition, one international and one local competition, and both of it have won gold award. Oh, okay. yeah, and it was so was very good because this is what what we need at least a, at least a friend or a guide. That sounds amazing. <laughs> so good luck to all your future apps and updating the current ones. Uh, yeah. Hope you do fantastically well in the future. Thank you. Thank you. So that's the designers and app developers from Digital Arc Malaysia. If you'd like to check out the apps, go check them out. They mentioned where they are and I suggest that you go check them out because they look amazing and the, the design, thanks again Alif for the lead designer there, yes. looks fantastic. Yes. So, salamat berpuasa to all the Gadget Nation viewers out there and I'll see you soon. Skating is fun and dangerous. If I could see where I felt more secure, it would give me more confidence. The Mind Rider app shows me my hot spots where I'm most focused and sweet spots where I'm most relaxed. We've listened to the legends of entire armies being decimated by a single strike along the Caspian border. Sandstorm so fierce in the Gulf of Oman, it's like you're fighting ghosts.